So there was a guy that finished 66th in the world on PlayStation in Foot Champions this week. He lost one game. Was that against me? Let's find out. So what's going on guys? My name's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Today we're going to be rolling back the years a little bit and revisiting one of my most popular forms of content on this channel. For those of you that were around during the FIFA 18 days on this channel, you'll remember that I used to upload videos of me playing against the top foot champions players. The two most popular of these by far were when I beat Boras Legend in the Weekend League 4-1 and when I beat Nepenthes 7-2. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the game between me and a guy called Mickey Dubs who finished 66th in the world. I'm going to try not to cut the gameplay footage too much because if you guys want to learn something it's much easier to do so if you see the full context of the game rather than just, you know, goals and chances. Uh, but before we get into the game guys, there's just one thing I'd like to say. Around 50% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed, so if you are enjoying the content and you do want to see more for FIFA 22, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you are notified when a video is posted. And with all that aside guys, let's get right into the game. So you can see this is the team we're using. This is actually my friend's account who he's kindly let me use for the past couple of months. The reason for that is that my account this year just didn't have much on it and I wanted to play with some good players at the end of the game so it's very nice of him to do that. You can see it's actually a very nice team and there's a prime icon moments Ronaldinho that I got in one of the icon moments player picks yesterday. And yeah this team sets up in a 4 triple 2 If you guys want to see my tactics or instructions please let me know and I'll happily make a video on it. I just didn't think to do it because it is September and we're near the end of the game. But yeah if enough of you do want that video I'll happily make it for you. But yeah we've just searched for the game and we're about to see his team and I actually thought it was a really nice one. It's like a Man United past and present. He's got like Cantona, Fernandez, Nani, Ronaldo, Beckham, which you don't really see often. But yeah, although it is a Man United squad, it is still a very, very top tier team. And yeah, we're about to get into the game and we're going to see if I can beat this top 100 player. I was actually a little bit nervous because I haven't played a competitive weekend league since about January. So my ability to play the game at this level is extremely dusty. I was actually 15 and 1 at this point, however, so I was actually really happy with that, especially since I haven't played in so long in this environment and yeah at the start of this game you can see I was just trying to keep the ball for a little bit just pass it around get a feel for the game I do this quite often just to see what kind of player my opponent is to see whether he presses or drops back and doing this allows me to adapt around the play style of my opponent and that is very helpful especially in weekend league because if you try and play the same style every game you're not going to do too well you know believe it or not not everyone actually plays the same style so you do have to switch up the things you're doing every now and then and really exploit the weakness in your opponent's play style. You're gonna see here actually my opponent tries to block the pass through to Messi but he couldn't and we actually take the lead against this top 100 player. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you if FIFA was the game I want it to be he would have blocked that pass. He'd done everything he should have. He literally went to cut the pass in lane and somehow his player just doesn't get it. So I think personally I was actually very lucky to score that but obviously I'm not gonna complain because a goal's a goal at the end of the day. But despite that dodgy goal I actually thought I started the game game quite well you know I was keeping the ball quite nicely most of the time I was winning it back when he tried to attack and I was just knocking it around waiting to create chances like as you can see here with Kante I was just jogging around waiting for a pass and I'm just you know turning whenever I want this was the start I was looking for because it gave me a bit of control it gave me confidence to try things that I can do you know if you start a game poorly and you go one nil down it affects your performance because you're just desperate to get a goal and you're not really thinking about what you're doing as much and you're quite desperate but if you just take control and compose yourself you'll notice you start playing a lot better the majority of the time. Anyway, you can see we got the ball into Messi there. We just couldn't sneak the shot past the defenders and it gets blocked. And one thing I noticed about this guy is he likes to break very quickly. If you can see all of his attackers there, he's got a line of four. So I had this in the back of my mind that I had to be careful whenever he got the ball because he was going to try and catch me by surprise and just ping it up there. And from the early stages of the game, you can see I actually dealt with it quite well. You know, I just remained calm, got the ball back and started doing my thing again and started, you know, slowly building up the play. That was actually a lot lovely ball roll from Messi to create a lot of space for Cantona and you can see we've got the ball here and we try a finesse shot but it does get saved by Schmeichel. I was slightly disappointed actually because usually that Messi just bangs them top bins every time. Moving on you can see I switched to Chilwell and tracked that run perfectly and as a result I won the ball back and we're on the attack again with Cantona. Look how much space there was down this right hand side. I didn't need to rush. I could take my time and just try and create something. Uh, Ronaldinho trying to wriggle his way through the box didn't quite work out and my opponent started 
started attacking me again and this is where I really had to be careful every time I lost the ball in those areas I had to be very careful because he had so many attackers just waiting up the pitch and you can see we nearly conceded there but thanks to a big save from Chesney we didn't and I think this is where my weakness in defense is a lot of the time I'm just so slow to switch and track a run like I just keep telling myself ah oh, he's not gonna be able to play that ball through and then they'll play the ball through perfectly and I'm in big trouble it's a big reason why I actually like making these videos in the first place because it actually forces me to review my own games and see where I'm going wrong you know from watching this now I feel like I'm actually learning something anyways you can see we blocked the passing lane with Kante and won the ball back yet again that card is so good at doing that although he's not like a big chunky player he can just win the ball back in those areas where you're just like oh thank you again you can see I'm just working my way up the field patiently because there isn't that much pressure on the ball I'm just taking my time and beating the players as they come and you can see we create a lot of space with Acuna there tried the skill move didn't quite work but we did get the ball back but the shot was blocked and yeah you can see again whenever my opponent won the ball back I was in big trouble most of the time because he had so many attackers up there and I just had to be vigilant with what I was doing one thing I will say is don't be ashamed to bring your players back like if you if you notice your opponent is an offensive player like as you can see here he's got like a line of four players in front of my defensive line don't be ashamed to match him and have those defenders back like you're not a rat if you just have your defenders on stay back while attacking like if I had my fullbacks on join the attack like I sometimes do in this game I'd probably be about four goals down already because it'd be four against two all the time and this is what I'm saying about analyzing your opponent's play style like if he just had one lone striker opposed to four attackers hanging around my halfway line I'd probably have my fullbacks on join the attack because I'd need that extra support to break him down because he'd have three players further back in the pitch than he does currently opposed to them all being up top so I probably would need that extra support and width in order to break him down but because he's got a lot of attackers higher up the pitch I decide to just keep them back I think this might be the second goal actually I held R1 so Chilwell would press and we won the ball back high up the pitch and then we turn with Messi past Wan-Bissaka heel to heel scoop turn and then a lovely finish to make it 2-0 Honestly, at this point, I was feeling quite comfortable. I was 2-0 up. My opponent already had loads of attackers. I was like, it can't get much more offensive, can it? And excluding that chance where he went through with Ronaldo and Chesney saved it, I think I had him in the bag this half. I think he paused to make some changes. I think he took Beckham off for Sancho or something like that. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. Let's see what difference this makes on the game. I was wondering if the 2-0 curse would strike me again. Let me know if you guys get that. It's like whenever you're winning a game 2-0 in the first half or something, your opponent will come out in the second half and beat you 3-2. Honestly, I don't know why that happens to me so much. I was 15-1 and when I was playing this game and the game that I lost before this, I was 2-0 up at half time and I lost 3-2. Honestly, I don't know why it keeps happening to me. It might be a loss of focus or whatever, but it really, really gets me. Um, moving on, I noticed that my opponent seemed to be a bit more aggressive when defending after the second goal. I think he must have changed something in the tactics to apply like more pressure. And the reason I think this is because whenever I got the ball from this point on it felt like I had a lot less time and space in order to do what I wanted so he was kind of like rushing me a bit and that is definitely like a weakness for me because I'm a very controlling player I like to have the ball I like to knock it around I like to you know dictate the tempo of the game I don't like somebody rushing me and making me do something but my god what a ball that was by the way if I was a bit more clever here I could have probably scored I probably should have used Messi's dribbling ability to try and fashion an opening but I kind of just smashed it at the defender and wasted it but you can see I switched to Acuna there and won the ball very high up the pitch it was a dangerous chance and again I messed it up at the last minute there was a clear pass on to Verratti just behind him and I didn't choose to play it but yeah we're heading towards the end of the first half and I genuinely thought it was a very good performance for me yes I made a few mistakes but so does everyone I was trying a new little corner tactic there by the way I crossed it to the back post and tried to head it back across so somebody could just tap it in didn't quite work anyway I just had to pause the clip here to show you the halftime stats I had 71% of the ball six shots four on target two goals my opponent had 29% of the ball and one shot so I actually think I did play very well in that first half especially considering this guy is much better than me like this guy is in the top 100 in the world for foot champions so in order to do that even just for one half I'm very happy with that like I want you guys to remember I haven't played FIFA competitively in many many months so like this was my first weekend league and I think I've actually done very well to do that so moving on to the second half honestly I was just hoping for more of the same like I was happy to keep the ball a bit and
and just take my chances when they come. You know, like when you're 2-0 up in the second half, you don't need to be constantly attacking them. You don't need to force your way through because you're just going to give the possession away and you're going to give them more chances. I had to be very careful in what I was doing in order, you know, to keep my two-goal lead. And funnily enough, just as I say that, I pull my centre-back out and he gets one goal back. That is the worst start to the half I could have hoped for. And I promise I'm not being salty, but if you watch that back, Nani definitely looks like he's offside there. Like, I was very surprised it wasn't called off. But I don't know, I might be blind, but I definitely thought that was offside. Regardless, though, he got a goal back at the start of the second half, and then, honestly, I started panicking a little bit because it's like, oh, gosh. I don't I don't know if it's a thing, but it's just like when somebody gets a goal against you when you win, and you're like, here we go. We still had the lead, however, so I was trying to keep that in the back of my mind. I was trying to just keep control of the game and take my time a bit because the last thing I wanted was for him to get another goal back so early. So if you see me passing it around a little bit, it's just because I did not want him to get another goal back instantly and make it 2-2. But in the second half, I started getting hit with those through balls a little bit more and they were really annoying. Like I don't know what it is. I hate them so much because you can't defend them. They just feel impossible to defend and it's like you can't switch to a player quick enough in order to stop it. And honestly, I just can't figure out a way to even like reduce the amount of them that people do because even if you have a low depth, they still seem to be able to do it and it's very frustrating. Like My defenders aren't exactly slow yet. They just get nowhere near them. But yeah, anyway, you can see we're on the attack here again. We're just trying to create an opening, a little elastico and a ball roll, but the pass is blocked and my opponent comes at me again. At this point, I just made a change. I wanted to make a change, sorry. I wanted to take uh, Eric Cantona off. It's not that he's bad, but it's just like I needed someone a bit quicker and a bit more agile in that position. So I just thought to bring on uh, Adama Traore, his 95 footies, because I was thinking it would just give me that edge down the wing because he's all pace and power. Like, this is what I'm saying here. You can see, like, we're on the break here but Cantona just doesn't have the speed or the agility to turn past the defender and I needed to fix that because if I'm getting pressed a lot I need somebody that is quick and can turn on the spot because otherwise you just lose the ball and you're just under constant pressure. Anyway, the start to this second half was actually quite end-to-end. -end. Like, he would come at me, and then I'd win the ball back, go at him, and then it would just keep going. Uh, I tried to get out with Chilwell here. That was a very lucky ball. That should have been blocked all day long. But you can see I have a lot of space down this left wing, and he was probably thinking I was going to pass it there because he backs off. But instead, I decided to just walk up to him. Lovely ball roll to scoop turn, and Messi really, really should be finishing that. I was very annoyed there because I was like, that, that would have been it. And then Akuna does the worst finesse shot I've ever seen. Moving on though, we had about 25 minutes to go and I was still 2-1 up, so I was happy, I just needed to keep him out, but you can see the pressure was starting to rise and it was becoming uh, it was becoming a lot more difficult to keep him out because there's so many players around me. You can see he bridges me there, but another good save from Chesney, but you can see again, we're on the counter attack, playing a ball through to Messi, I really should have played that to Verratti on the left there, and we end up losing the ball, that, that was a big mistake from me, if I just played that correctly, I'd have been in. Then my opponent goes on the attack with Nani, plays it down the left-hand wing to Martial, and then he plays that ball into Ronaldo, and I just cannot do anything. I try moving the keeper, but that is what I'm on about. Like, what on earth can I do about that? Don't get me wrong, it's a great goal from my opponent. It's a brilliant ball, but I, j I just can't do anything about it. If you guys know how to defend that, please let me know. Like, I, I know some of you are probably going to say player switch, but it's like, how can anyone possibly see that coming? Regardless, it's a great goal, and then and the game went to 2-2 so I was starting to think oh god what am I gonna do here but again I just tried to remain calm and do what I was doing for the whole game that got me 2-0 up in the first place but it just became more and more difficult you can see we're in with Akuna and somehow Schmeichel just grabs the ball there it really should have been a goal um, but it wasn't then again you can see my opponents on the break but we do win the ball back with Desai but then he snatches it right back and then he plays the ball to Ronaldo but it gets blocked by Akuna and it just keeps going and going then for some reason Desai just decides to like take a very sloppy touch but Chesney makes the save then again it is offside <laughs> keep in mind this was like three in the morning guys my head was fried I was like what is going on can this game just end please let me win and yeah I was just trying to regain my shape and composure again but I was finding it more and more difficult as the game went on I was just trying to somehow create one last chance somehow try and score a goal but it just wasn't happening for me I could not find a way through 
through. And as you can see, my opponent's confidence is just growing and growing. He's knocking it round a lot easier now. He's just waiting for his chance and it's a lot less forced. So I'll be honest, from this point, it just felt a bit like, okay, when's this goal coming? And as you can see, he plays a ball through there, chips the goalkeeper and it's in. That goal was completely my fault. I did not switch to Desai and block the run. That was all on me and it was 3-2. I was fuming at myself there. But yeah, I'm not going to drag it out, guys. That was basically it. He started passing it around the back after this. Can't really blame him, to be honest. But like, you know, there just wasn't anything else that really happened in the game. Yeah, I'm just going to speed it up because it's really not that interesting. I lost the ball and then I basically didn't get it back. But uh, yeah, I did end up losing this game 3-2. Maybe I was a little bit unfortunate. Maybe I wasn't. But the fact is, I lost to a very good player. Mickey is a fantastic player. And the fact he was just using a Man United past and present team was nice. You know, it's something a bit different. I I did really enjoy the game so Mickey if you are watching this at any point just know you're a great player I did really enjoy the game we played and uh, congratulations on top 100 but yeah that's basically it for the video guys we did lose uh, it was a bit unlucky I think um, but at the same time you know it's a great player and obviously he has to do what he has to do to win so uh, we did end up losing but I was happy with the performance you can see there we actually had uh, the much better stats there but again I was just too sloppy so uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video I decided to post it because I thought you guys would enjoy seeing me you know play against some good players if you did enjoy the video guys I would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any FIFA 22 content that will be coming out over the next few weeks and don't forget to turn on notifications so you're notified when a video Video is posted and with all that aside guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all later peace